Hello viewers, welcome back to another section of my tutorial and this is an apply electricity tutorial. So this is a problem in AC theory. So it said a small installation consists of the following loops connected in parallel across a single phase 240 volt 50 hertz supply. So these are the loops which have been connected in parallel. A fan motor having an input of 2 kV ampere at 0.75 power factor lagging a 1.5 kW radiator operating at unity power factor finally a 1 kV ampere load operating 0.85 leading power factor power factor you see find the total current that is the first part Find the kilowatt, the total kilowatt, then finally find the total KVE and the power factor of the load. So this is a simple, a simple problem in AC theory, and there are certain things to take note of: the lagging, power factor lagging, then also it is being connected across a single phase. So we are dealing with a single phase system, not a three-phase system. So this is. A simple scenario of few loads which we use in our household so they talked about unity power factor here you have to also take note of that so let's quickly go into what you have and see how we go by this question can you watch this video to the end and if it's your first time visiting this channel don't forget to subscribe as I'll be posting relevant video as this okay so write our solution and before you begin, you know that the total power in a situation or in a circuit is what we call the KVA. KVA, that is the total power. Within this KVA, we have a part called the reactive power and another part called the active power or the normal power we know. So before we can do that, we have to group all the active power at one side and we add them. That will give us our KW. And after we group all the KVA, sorry or the KVAR, that is the reactive part at one side. Then when you combine them, you get our KVA back again. So let's see. We are going to draw a table. And the table, I write my loose. That is my loose. Then here I write my cos theta. Which is my cos theta will be the same as the power factor. Then this side i'll write my active power k w that is my active power then at this point i'll write my sine theta then this side will be my reactive power so let's see what you are going to do at this point So once you have this, you take the loads one by one and handle them. So the first load is saying that a fan motor having an input of 2 kVA. So our first load is 2 kVA. 2 kVA. So now we can't choose a single unit for this side as kVA because we have another load which is only kW. So here you write the unit attached to it 2 kva then the cos theta you know that cos theta in ac theory is the formula for finding the power factor so since you have the power factor being 0.75 lagging the lagging means that the reactive part is positive but when you take the active part it's always as it is but for the reactive part, if it is lagging, it becomes positive. But if it's leading, the power factor is leading, then your reactive part becomes negative. So 2 kVA, it says 0 0.75. You write 0 0.75. Then, what would be the kWA? kWA is simply your power times the power factor of the power cos theta. Your kVA cos theta will give us kW. So you simply multiply 2, you see all the power is in kilovolts, kilo, 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 kilo. 
So meaning there's no need making it 2000. So you simply multiply 2 by 0 0.75 and you are getting 1.5. So this side uh, KW is 1.5. Since I have the unit here, I simply put 1.5 here. Then my this one is also KVAR. So it's simply 1.5. Now how do I get sine theta? I have my cos theta here, then how will I get my sine of theta? So first of all, what you do is you just take the cos inverse of 0 0.75, 0 0.75, and that will give us 41.4. Then after you find sine of answer, and that will give us 0 0.66. So you simply write 0 0.66. Then once you get 0 0.66 here, you multiply by our two so that we get the reactive part of our KVA. So 0 0.66 times 2 will give us 1.32. Then we write it here, 1.32. We are done with the first load. Let's come to the second load. So under the second load, you have a 1.5 kilowatt radiator operating at unity power factor. So here, we know that he said operating at unity power factor. Then always, once you have a unity power factor, meaning that your power is entirely active there is no reactive part it's a fully active power so meaning here our loss here you are going to have a uh, 1.5 kilowatts and our power factor is one so meaning our active part is what 1.5 we simply multiply it by one now what about the reactive as i said that Whenever you, have an, uh, whenever you have a power factor of 1, it means that it's entirely active. Hence, we don't have any reactive part. For that reason, let's solve and see if it is true. So, if the power factor is 1 and you want to get a sine theta, what do you do? You find cos inverse of 1. So, what is cos inverse of 1? That will give us 0. Then, sine 0 will give us what? 0. So, meaning this is 0. We don't have any reactive part. Now, finally, let's take the 1 kilovolts ampere operating at the leading power factor of 0 0.85 so power factor is 0 0.85 taking note of the leading we becomes negative the reactive will become negative but the active is never negative so if i multiply 0 0.85 by 1 we're giving what 0 0.85 here nicely then what would be the sine of theta here the sine theta is simply the cos inverse of 0 0.5 then that's how I get our point sign of that and that is giving me 0 0.53 0 0.53 so when you multiply 0 0.53 by this what are you getting you are getting 0 point by 1 0 0.53 but since it's leading you put negative here then we come to add all our active and reactive so let's see, from the table that we have here, I'm only interested in our total KW, total KVA, but KVA will be solved after you've got both KW and KVA are, as well as our power factor. So now what do we do? We need total of this. How do we add this? 1.5 plus 1.5 will give us 3 plus this, we get 3. 85 don't forget the unit is already on top kilowatts then when you come here what are you getting 1.32 minus 0 0.53 1.32 minus 0 0.53 and that is giving us 0 0.79 0 0.79 line c so let's see we have been asked to find the total current, total KW, total KV. So let's start with the total KW since I have it here. So my total KW is simply equal to 3.85 kilowatts. Nicely. Then you go to the second part, which is total, total KVA. And KVA is simply equal to the square root of the square of our this and this the sum of the square of this and this so this will be equal to um, let's see let me write it p squared plus q squared 
where P is our active power, and that is giving me 3.85 squared plus my Q, my Q is 0.79 squared. And what am I getting for KVA? So we put this into the calculator. 3.85 squared plus 0.79 squared. And that is giving me 3.93, 3.93 kilo volt amperes. Now what are we left with? I left with current and the power factor. How do you find current? You know that P is equal to IV. Where this P is the total power, and the total in this case is our KV. That's the effective power in our AC system. So this is equal to current and the total voltage. From the question, the total voltage was 240 voltage. So sorry, 240 volts. So I'm going to get 3.93 to be equal to I times 240. Therefore, my current I is simply equal to 3.93. Don't forget this is kilo. So times 1000 all over 240. And the current will be equal to 3.930 over 240. And that is 16.38 amperes. 16.38 amperes. That is 3.93 times 1000 all over 240 is giving us 16.38 amperes. Now, what are we left with? The power factor. So, to find the power factor is simply the active part of our PVA. So power factor is equal to our KVA over our KW and that is equal to KVA is 3.85 over KW which is 3.93 so 3.85 over 3.93 and that is giving us 0.98 9. Sorry, I swapped it. It's rather K W. Let me make it here. K W kilowatt over your key volts amperes. That will give us this. So let's let me show you how we got this. For you to see how we got this, you just draw this, and you know that you have our KVA the total power here. KVA. And you have our active PQ. So the power factor is just this theta. So we want to find cos of this theta. And cos of this theta is simply what the adjacent here. So this P, the P is on down in this Q. The adjacent here over this. So simply our 3.85 over 3.9. And that is given as 0.98. Then it is positive. So it's lagging. Thanks for watching this video. Kindly subscribe and don't forget to like.